Hi, this is my tower garden. As you can see, there's a website below where you can go and get more information on the system. This is a beautiful system that you can grow your own healthy greens indoors and outdoors. There are lights available to replicate sunlight to grow indoors. You can check it out and I will show you exactly now how to maintain. Let's go. Hi, I'm now going to demonstrate to you again, I showed in the previous clip how I plant, but now I'm going to show you again uh, how I do it. Maybe it's not the correct way, but it's, it's, it's the way I do it. Okay, so this lettuce plant is coming to, to an end. So I'm going to take this one out. Here I am. I took it out previously and, and then what happened is I, I broke the cup because you see it's very tricky to take it out because the roots really grow okay so now we're going to replant this one all you do is you take the cup you kind of pull this out we will take care of that after take care of the, the roots And that's that. So I'm going to show you with the new cup how I do it. Like I said previously, I hope I don't get into trouble for this, but I find when the cups have the bottom that the, the plant starts slower. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could be wrong because when I started it also in the spring it was colder. And maybe it was maybe because of the temperature that made it start slower but I just find that taking the bottom off works for me so here I am cutting the bottom off so there you go there's a bot I, I take the bottom off so here I have two lettuce plants here. As you can see, the roots are in the bottom. So you can do that. What, what I actually find that works better for me is, is if, you, if you split this here like that, gently, not trying not to break the plant. You could plant it like that. But I did it before, but you really have to be gentle. Just take the plant out. And then you put the roots lower. I, I, I find it works good like this. Then you just take this and you stick it in. You have to be gentle, even if you have big fingers like me, not to break the the, the, the plants. And you see, you stick it down like that. And then I'm going to show you how this how this thing is. Here it is. Gently put the root in first, and then you push it in, and that's it. And this plant is going to grow and give you lettuce that's that i have a few more to do i will show you again this one you have to i guess force it out oh there you go i broke it but see but it's fine if it's broken like that it, it can easily be reused you see the way how i do it by putting the roots, putting the, the, the rock wheel out with the roots out, it's easy to, to, to take in and out. So, 
So here I go again. I'll take another plant. This one has longer roots. So we'll just leave that. We'll gently put the root in. There you go. The roots are in. We push it through a bit. Take out the old roots. And then I'm going to insert it. Even if the cup, the cup broke, it is fine. And even if it's hanging like that, it's fine. It will grow and you will get lettuce pretty soon. So that's, that's how you plant and how you replace the old plants. Now uh, I'm going to show you the step regarding the water, the nutrient and all of that. First of all, you open this cover. Inside, there's, a, it's, there's half a tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to put half a tank of uh, water and half of the nutrients. We're going to put half of the nutrients, which would relate to being half of a tank. So I will take my hose. So, I, so these are the nutrients that come with the tower garden when you buy it. You have A and B. Okay. You also have this here. It's it's pH up. This is for if your pH is too low, then you have the pH up. I haven't used that yet because where I am with the water, the way how it is. I don't need to use the pH up. I always have to use the pH minus, okay? There was a bottle like this that came with the system, but when it was finished, I went and I bought a big bottle because I also do hydroponic, as you know. So I use more of it, so I went and I bought a bigger bottle. But this comes with the system to check the pH. That's the drops. This is the container. And we have the color chart. So you, what you want, you want it to be anywhere around, around six is good. That's what I'm told. 5.5 .5 to six. Me, I try to go closer 5.5, 6.5, anywhere between there, that, that's, that works for me. So we'll just leave this chart here for now. So also that comes is a measuring cup that goes up to one cup or 200 ml. So it, it, is, it is recommended for a full tank for the tower garden, a full tank is 20 gallons. That reservoir is 20 gallons. So for these nutrients that comes with the tower garden, you need 400 ml milliliters of nutrient A and then nutrient B. Now for the tower garden and for more, most of the, the, the suppliers for these nutrients, they recommend that you add nutrient A first to the water and then after you add nutrient B. But I don't want to contradict myself, so I'm, I'm, since I'm on this topic, I'm going to show you something else. These are, these are another nutrient that I use for my hydroponic. But with this Optimum company, somehow, I guess in the beginning when they started, there was a mix up between A and B. So when I use this nutrient, I actually have to add B first and then A. But most, most, other, most other companies recommend A, then B. If you put B first, then A, then you'll have a, a, a problem with the nutrient. So you have gotta put A first, you mix it up, then B. So now, 
we're going to start with it. So seeing that, remember, it takes 400 ml for a full tank, but we're only going to use half the tank. We're only going to replace half a tank of water. So we will put, oh, you have to shake it. So I'm going to put measure 200 of this. So I'm going to take it and I add it to the water. You rinse the, the cup out. So, I got a paint stick from Home Depot and I just take that and I stir it. You stir it in good. But I find that if, this is why I put it before I start pulling the water. If you put it in there, then you start pulling the water, then it kind of mixes up. Okay, so you spray the water all the way around so the nutrient gets into the water. So now, that's it for A. Now we're going to put B. Two hundred ml. So that's it. So we let it fill. You cannot really over fill it because there's a hole here where the wire comes out. So when you see, when you see the water starts to come out, then you know it's full. When you do this, it's good to put a knot like this on the wire so that when the water drips out, when it gets to this knot, it, it will fall to the ground rather than follow the line to the electrical plug, which is not a good thing. So you put a knot there and that will let the water fall down rather than continue to flow. So, okay, there we go. There we go, you see, the water is flowing out. Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, quick note, that video ended very abruptly because there is going to be a continuation on episode three. Uh, another note, very important, if you're indoors, please do not overflow the tank. The, you only have to go like three inches from on top and then you're fine. Uh, please uh, like, share, and please subscribe in the button right here uh, on my channel. I'll be posting videos every Friday night at 8 p.m. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks again.